Hi, this is Marco from AtomateNow.io, and in this video, I'll show you how to install Playwright on Windows. Let's dive in. There are multiple options for installing Playwright on Windows. In our case, we're going to use NPM or Node Package Manager. You must have NPM installed before you can proceed. I'll be linking the information in the video description so you can learn how to do that. But let's assume that you already have NPM installed. The next thing you need to do is to choose where you want to install Playwright. In my case, I've chosen this automation folder here. I'm going to right click here and create a new folder. I'm going to call this one Playwright, Playwright Demo. Once I have this folder created, I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to click on this area right here, this white part. And then I'm going to type in CMD to open a command prompt window. Right, once we have the command prompt window open, we're going to type in npm init and then playwright. And then at latest. This is going to get the latest version of Playwright installed on our system. Let's go ahead and hit enter here. And we're going to be presented with a few questions, a few options to choose from. The first one here is whether you want to use TypeScript, which is the default, or JavaScript. Let's go with TypeScript. I'm just going to hit enter right here. By the way, you can use the arrow keys to select which language you want to choose. Let's go ahead and press enter here. Then it's asking us where do we want to put the end to end tests. Let's go ahead and use this default test folder. Press enter again. Do we want to add a GitHub Actions workflow? This will allow us to run our automated tests on GitHub. I'm just going to hit say hit Y right here to say yes. And then it's asking install Playwright browsers. We can do this later if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and press enter and go with that. All right, so the installation has begun and Playwright is being installed. On the left here, we're going to see that folders are going to start to be added right here. We see node modules, package, the installation is now complete, as we can see here. All the folders and different files have been added to this folder that we created. You can now use an IDE such as Visual Studio Code to open up this folder and start working on the Playwright tests. Click the video card above if you want to learn how to install Playwright within VS Code. 